We all know someone who owns or has owned a horse. But most of you don't know what goes on behind the scenes behind those pretty pictures posted to the social media. It takes a lot of work and knowledge to keep a horse happy and healthy for up to 30 years, sometimes even longer. One of the most common diseases that affect our lives as horse owners is pituitary pars intermedia dysfunction, or better known as Cushing's disease. It is a disease found in older horses that affects their endocrine system, but it is manageable through proper diet and exercise. Personally, a horse I rescued October 15th of 2019 was diagnosed of June 2020 with this disease at an estimated age of 20 years old. This is Bo. As our horses age, their internal body functions begin to slow or shut down completely. As described by the Royal Veterinary College in PPID, the neural mechanisms which control hormone production by the pituitary gland are damaged so that the inhib inhibitory part is lost. Thus, there is excessive production of the normal hormones from the pituitary gland. This can cause the pituitary gland to swell and have a pocket of fluid that would image as a tumor. Typically, this will happen as horses approach the age of 19, but can happen as early as the age of 10. 25 to 30 years is about the average lifespan of a horse kept in captivity. Most commonly, the symptoms of this disease present themselves with an increase in coat length of the horse, often growing a thick winter coat before winter hits and shedding much later in the summer. Bo grew this coat probably at the beginning of October. We don't want to see this coat until beginning of December. It's quite long and fuzzy. Other symptoms include uh, weight loss and muscle wasting, lethargy, increased sweating, and an increase in drinking urination due to the sweating. Personally, Bo had an episode this summer where he was soaked in sweat and extremely lethargic. This led my vet to wanting him to be tested for this disease. This disease is diagnosed through a blood test that will measure the horse's ACTH, also known as the adrenocorticotropic hormone concentration. Essentially, if the levers are higher than normal, then this horse is positive for this disease, put into simple terms. Medications can be given in order to slow the pituitary gland's production, such as pergolide. It is a dopamine agonist that replaces lost inhibition of the pituitary gland. Medications will help the internal ailments, but we also have to manage the physical symptoms and assist the horse's changing body through adjusted diet and exercise. As stated by Joanne Mesley in Managing Cushing's Disease in Horses, we must keep the new diet low in carbohydrates and high in fat to try and combat muscle loss that comes along with this disease. Oftentimes, we will stick to a grain-free or senior feed diet, limiting grazing on lush green grass, and keeping the horse's diet mostly hay while supplementing with the necessary vitamins and minerals. Here are two different types of feed. This is a senior feed. It is low in carbohydrates, but high in fats and proteins to support muscle loss as horses age. The other is a basic sweet feed. It is generally lower in proteins, but higher in carbs and sugars. This is necessary for the workload that the horse performs. We will keep a horse with Cushing's on the senior feed, no matter their age, due to their components and nutrients within this type of feed. Another important aspect of keeping horses healthy is keeping them in an exercise program if they're able to. Sometimes older horses have too much arthritis to be ridden, so keeping them in a larger pasture helps with this muscle wasting. They're able to move around more. In the article, 12 Ways to Manage the Diet of a Horse with Cushing's Disease, we can read that also keeping grain meals small and spread out, this prevents a sugar rush, and supplementing with an oil, like this one you see here, can assist with weight gain in a horse with Cushing's, especially if they cannot be ridden. Unfortunately, PPID, or Cushing's, is a common disease in older horses that affects their overall body functions, but this disease is entirely manageable through adjusted diet and exercise. Our horses do a lot for us in their younger age, and it is our job to keep them happy and healthy even as they age.